Hi everyone, it's Louise with Louise McKay Art, and I am on my second pour for the day, and I'm going to try something different for me again. I um, unearthed some of these old CDs that my husband was throwing away, and I thought, you know what, I've seen people making clocks out of these things, why not give it a shot? So, that's what I'm going to do today. So before I talk, just want to thank everybody for being here, and if you haven't subscribed yet, and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button and hit all and you'll get all my latest uploads. Hopefully you guys will like what, I, what I'm showing you and learn from it. I try to be as succinct as possible in my videos and still show you things and tips as, as we go. So for my colors, I've got almost the same color palette as the coasters I made, but I've got gold, Deco Arts 24 karat, Quinacridone Nicolazzo, that Art Mines Aqua, uh, Antique Aqua, and then I'm adding some Deco Art Extreme Sheen Sky Blue Topaz for fun. And then, of course, this is that Anathric, what is it called? <laughs> this is that blue I just started pulling out the other day. Uh, blue Anthra, oh my gosh, Blue Anthraquidone. Anth Anthraquinone. <laughs> Oh my gosh, blue anthraquinone. <laughs> oh my gosh, who comes up with these names? I need to come up with a nickname for that. Yeah, so that's my lineup. I'm going to continue to use the white Australian Floetrol and my black American Floetrol because I just want to use it up. Okay, I'll be back in a second. Let's give this a whirl. So before I get going here, I did prime this. I don't think I need to, but I did anyway, and I taped the back. So my hole is covered up. All right, let's go. I'm just gonna do a blow blowout here. I seem to be stuck on the bloom technique, but you know, it's been really good, so. I'm gonna get hopefully better at it, I'm sticking with a good thing. I know at first when I was when I started started learning how to paint, I uh, I was switching from technique to technique, like every week, and it was crazy, and I couldn't keep up. All right, let's give this thing a shot. Let's see, what's my starter color? My starter color is the gold. And I'm gonna blow this out with my lungs. I need to add more paint than what I had been on the coasters. And I have not done a test tile with this combination yet. That should be enough gold. And the only thing I really did substitute is the uh, the silver. I substituted in that sky blue topaz for the silver. This is Canacridone Nicolazzo gold. My antique aqua. I really want to see how this plays with that sky blue topaz. Sky blue, sky blue topaz. And then my blue, I'm not gonna call it what it is. It's my blue. It's going to be a challenge to see how I can blow this out. It's not that much bigger than a coaster, but it does. It is bigger. Let's see how far my lungs will go. Here goes the fan. My heater's on. It's been getting chilly here. Okay, white and then black.
right, there's good light. Good amount of black. So while the heater's running and I'm voicing over, I just want to point out here, especially for the newer folks, what I always think of when I'm blowing out the bloom is I'm always thinking of blowing the cell activator over the paints and the paints over the pillow. So it's like I'm skimming everything over each other, over the pillow, as I'm blowing out the colors. And another thing I do differently now than if you'd seen me earlier on is I don't worry about blowing everything out to the edges at this point because I'm going to trust that as I spin it, everything's going to spread. So as the heater is still blowing, I'm going to voice over again. And I'm just going to point out here that as I blow the straw into the center where the cell activator is, what I'm trying to do is conjure up the cell activator by blowing on top and encouraging the paints underneath to push up through the cell activator to create those pretty cells. It really is amazing how different paints will react differently with each other. When I was using my other pillow, my scraps, I didn't have to, have to blow in the middle or with the silver, but this time I did. Always learning, always learning, learning and observing. Let me keep, give the middle a chance to come back. Of course, the middle is gonna be gone when you put a clock face in it. But I'm happy with what I see so far. Okay. Sure, it's lined up. It's pretty good in the middle. Oh, I just spilled my toothpicks. Okay, I'll get them later. It's probably going to spin off anyway. Okay. Let's see what happens. Maybe I had a big hole in the middle that's plugged. Here we go. Oh, wow. Oh, jeez. Yep. We got a winner, chicken dinner. apologize for sitting here and going wow but I'll tell you what it's like my first reaction you almost can see right away you can see from the blow if it's going to be a good one or not wow it is beautiful it's not done yet though because I still got to get to the edges but holy cats all right spin the other way This is so much fun. Oh my God, it's beautiful. Let me show you what I've got here. Can you see this guy? I am beside myself, it's beautiful. Beautiful. And the other thing, this uh, Multi-Pro, because I'm just coming off of using my scrap paint, Multi-Pro, flows a lot better, probably because it's not contaminated with a whole bunch of different paints. All right, there's still paint coming off, so. And we got bubbles.
when you see the bubbles, even if they haven't popped yet, you see where they're forming, you want to get them because you don't want the bubbles to take control. You want to take control of the bubbles because they're going to turn into white spots. I don't want to waste my time on that one because it's going to spin off. So I'm just double timing here through the spinning part. I hope this turns out because obviously once I get done with this part, it's got to dry and then I've got to resin it and then I got to apply the face of the clock to it. So here I'm just using the palette knife to clean up the excess paint that's spilled off the sides and the bottom. So that's where this one is. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay, so right now I'm going to put this thing to bed and I'm going to let it dry. And probably in a couple of weeks I will resin it and I'll put the clock fixture on it and the numbers. And we should have something really cool to offer somebody. All right, thanks again everybody for tuning in. I appreciate it. And we'll see you next time. Take care everyone. Bye-bye.